Hello everyone, today we will discuss about a solution of how you can import a table from a PDF file directly into an Excel file. And I'm sure if you have faced this problem, this will be a solution for you. One thing, I'm using the latest version of Excel, which is Microsoft 365, and this feature may not be available in any earlier version of Excel. So keep watching. Welcome back friends. Let me show you how normally people think that they can simply copy and paste data from a PDF table into an Excel sheet and it definitely doesn't work. So I opened an Excel sheet. I also downloaded some financials of Reliance Industries for half yearly ending in 2019 because it is available in public domain. So I go to page four of this document and there I will see that there is a financial table and I wanted to copy this into my Excel sheet. So the way people think it will work let me just copy and then paste it into Excel sheet and see what happens. Now in Excel, when I paste it, oh my God, everything has went for a toss. The formatting has gone. I cannot use it. Let me delete it. Let me show you one more way which people think works. It does work, but is not the best way. And believe me, one of my friends did try this. He copied everything which would come into a cell, went into Excel, pasted that like quarter ended over here. He copied that, went into the next column, pasted that. But believe me, it is so tiresome, so cumbersome. I'll never recommend this. There are more ways of converting this. And one of the ways which I found to be really, really effective in the latest version of Excel, which is Microsoft 365 is something I want to show you and share with you. So if it worked out for you or you liked it, do share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Insta and YouTube. Leave a comment if you have any issues so that I'm also motivated to make more videos. So let me show you what you need to do to use the same function using Office 365. In Office 365, you'll see in the ribbon, you have the option of data. So if you go to data ribbon there, the next option you see is get data, the first one. In get data, if you go to from file, which is again the first option, you see there is a new option, which is from PDF. This option may not be available in the earlier versions. So in here, you go and you select the PDF where you want to import the data from. Once you click on it, depending upon how big is the PDF, it may take some time. It will show you that it is connecting to the particular database and then it will open the navigator for you. In the navigator, it will show you all the pages and especially it will show you the tables along with the page numbers. As you can see here, it is showing table 001, page two and so on. I remember the data I wanted to capture was from page four and five. So I'll go to page four and five. And if I click on any table, it will show me on the preview pane on the right side, what exactly does that table contain so if let me go and click on table 008 page 4 and 5 here I can see it is the same data which I wanted to import so I think yes we are good to go because most of the data is in the way I wanted to see it is showing me null where the cells were blank but that is perfectly fine so what I will do is I will select this if I want to get more tables on the top I will click on select multiple forms and then I will click uh, multiple items and then the only thing I need to do is very simple step which is go down and click on transform data yes so once you click on transform data it will again take a few seconds depending upon how much data you are importing it will open up the power query editor and in this it will show you what are the things that you want to import in case if you want to delete a particular column or you want to delete particular rows you can always do it it is a part of advanced feature so i'm telling you step by step what you need to follow to import the tables follow these steps if required you can always go back and see the steps again so just to show you as an example, if I want to delete this column, I will select this column and on the top, you will see there is option of remove column. I can always remove this. Similarly, there is this option of remove rows. I can remove the rows if required. And that is it. That is the only thing I need to do. Once my data is in place, the only thing I need to do is on the left, you'll see the option of close and load. I will click on that small arrow on the left side. And when I click that, I will get two options. The first option says close and load and the second says close and load two. So I will click on the second option, close and load two. Here it will open a new window. In this, I have several options. I generally like to make my data available in a new worksheet. So I select the new worksheet and that is it. Click on OK 
and that is the only thing which you need to do now your data will be imported now you can see all the data has been imported in the way it was the column cells and since it is being imported as a table so there are multiple things you can do along with it one of my users uh, for the similar video in a different language asked me if this will work for 2016 version i checked it out sorry to say it does not work in excel 2016 you will need to get the latest version i found a deal on amazon india where you might be able to save if some money on office 365 subscription whether personal edition for one person or for the family edition for six people having six tb or six thousand gb of space so i will leave the description or in the link for the same in the description box below hope you are able to get some benefit out of it and friends if you liked it there are many more videos which i have already made which is like how you can import a pdf directly into word and edit the same there are so many videos i have made on tutorials for excel for the beginners advanced and the intermediate level i will leave the link for all the videos in the description box below and on the i above so take benefit of those if you like this video do click on the subscribe below by clicking on the red button also press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for all my future videos click like share it with your friends and family thanks a lot friends take care bye bye